Blender Cycles can be slow sometimes because of its default settings. But in this video, I will share all the settings and tricks I use to make it faster. For this video, I am going to render this scene out. Let's start with changing the Blender default render settings. First, go into this tab and change the render device to GPU. Now, if you don't have a graphics card, it will be like this. And if you have a GPU, but it is still like this, it might not be compatible or your drivers aren't updated. After that, we have these settings. Change the noise threshold to something like 0.5 or 0.1. It stops the sampling when there is less noise in the render. Make sure you are changing the render settings and not the viewport settings. After that, go down in light path and change this value to something lower. I usually go with eight, but it always depends on your project. Now, if you go more down, you can find the persistent data option. Enable it. It won't calculate the textures data for every frame. This really helps out a lot. Also enable this option too. After these settings, your render time will be lower than before, but you can reduce it more with some more tricks. But before that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Fox Render Farm, a service that provides you access to cloud rendering, which can render super fast with the help of high-end computer farms. You can use it both online or download their desktop client. Fox Render Farm supports many software and plugins, such as Blender and more. It is just simple. Sign up and get $50 free credits with the link in the description. Download RaySync and upload your project file and analyze it and render it out. I rendered this animation, which took only 25 seconds on Fox Render Farm. So go and claim $50 credits now from the link in the description. Now, let me tell you some tricks to reduce your render times. If you have a static camera and objects, don't render them out for each frame. What you can do is use Control plus B and render the part which is moving or animated. Make sure you change the render location and render the background in one frame. Now open a new file. Add both of your images like these. Use an alpha over and connect it like this. Render an animation again. It will take few seconds and you are good to go. I also render at low quality and upscale it. The best way to do it is by using this software. I don't want to go in depth, but you can watch this guy who has done a great job. Another thing I would suggest is to optimize your materials. For example, if you are using glass material, change it to like this, or just use the glass from my free cinematic asset pack, which includes the glass shader. Most of you hide objects like this. This is still processed. The right way is to uncheck this or go into this tab, enable this and uncheck it. Hide all the objects that are not in the camera so Blender doesn't have to calculate all of it. Make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and watch this video for some Blender tricks.